All right, welcome back to SoFlow TV again, everybody. It is your host with the most. Please go ahead and hit that subscribe button, please. And if you like our content and you like our consistency as we update new videos for you on a daily basis, then please consider hitting that join button and becoming a paid member of our channel here at SoFlow TV. All right, listen, this particular story is something else, man. And the story is just spiraling out of control. I'm talking about the uh, whoo, the disappearance of this young lady, right? The disappearance of this young lady is nothing nice. Um, and it's just not looking good. I want to make a prediction, right? And I know people are going to cuss me because them always cuss me. But then they end up being right like 99% of the time. And I hope this time... My prediction is wrong but I think in this case she is no longer alive uh, I'm serious social media influencer Donna Lee Donaldson is no longer alive listen so we covered this in the morning thoughts uh, show that we did this morning but you know we covered a whole bunch of other things in that morning thoughts show about Queen Africa's new look and then somebody pointed out and said Queen Africa just dyed her hair and it's illu uh, delusional or illusion illusions because if you look in the mirror you can still see that she has her locks or whatever I didn't see it and I looked at the picture like 50 different times but I know that will come for talk about we talked about the molly popping new party drugs in Jamaica and how it will affect Jamaica and all this I know that will come for talk about we really come for talk about Donna Lee Donaldson you know, uh, as information is being released, now I'm coming to find out a couple of things. For one, security cameras shows her going into the apartment of her boyfriend. See, first we were told that she's missing and a police officer is involved. A police officer invo is involved. Next thing we hear, two police officers are involved. The police officer that she was dating and the police officer that she was dating has a baby mother who is also a police officer now i'm hearing that is three police officers that are involved baby mother did not like her baby mother one baby father for herself she and baby mother have rows baby mother have a, another friend who is also a police officer and she and her police officer friend them being two police officers went over to Donna Lee's house already and fight her already or confronted her to fight her seeing so this is an ongoing thing now there are speculations and all that what we've found out so far security cameras are there which shows that now we haven't confirmed this but it said that security cameras are there on the compound of the apartment complex that shows her entering his apartment but there's no security footage showing her leaving she has been in a relationship with said police officer for about two years now his account is that they had an argument and she left it was a big argument and she left he said they had an argument and she left neighbors are saying that they heard them arguing and i want big old argument right but i was asking who said that she left if the cameras did not show her leaving, who said that she left? And how would they know that she had left if the cameras don't show her leaving, if the same cameras show her going in? And did they actually get camera footage from the compound that shows her going in or leaving? It is also said that her boyfriend, the police officer, is involved with Katiana smith a female police officer which i spoke of earlier and they have a child together a young child now my question about the young child is when was this child born was this child conceived while he was in a relationship with donnelly donaldson and donnelly donaldson decide because you know some man we have baby with them woman and a next woman pan the side is the baby mother 
and the woman won't let her go of her man still. She'll get mad. She'll be upset that he had a child outside of their relationship, but she's not letting him go. And some women believe that a baby can keep a man. So once I have a baby for your man, he's coming to me and it never work out either way. You know, I don't know the dynamics of this relationship, but so I am questioning when was this child born and how old this child is? Because it would shed a lot of light on the dynamics of this relationship. So did she have the child in the time of his relationship with Donnelly? Her brother spoke. I believe it was the Jamaica Observer or the Jamaica Gleaner where they staged a peaceful protest. And I'm getting to find out that that peaceful protest was staged right outside of the apartment complex in New Kingston where she was last seen. I'm guessing that is the apartment of the police boyfriend because it said that she was last seen at his apartment complex. And then a protest there. So I'm guessing that's his apartment complex, right? The words of her brother, though, says he suspects foul play. Because the way he said it, he said the police isn't really giving them much help other than telling them that they're going to do their best or whatever. But the police hasn't really, like, gotten into it. The police isn't giving them any update. The police just leave it where it's at. And they feel like at this point, the police is actually trying more to cover up something than anything else. They're not being forthright and forthcoming with new developing information. I said it before, that peaceful protest was staged outside of the apartment complex where the police officer, her boyfriend, had lived and this is where she was last seen. Noel Maitland is his name and Catania Smith is the name of the police officer female who is also Noel Maitland's baby mother. Both police officers work at the same police station I am told. Both at this point if you ask me should have been brought in already for questioning in the presence of their attorney or at least be detained but we already know how Jamaica work they're not going to just detain them like that so they're police officers and they have pulls and especially if they've been around in the force for a while this is not like they got in trouble overseas they got in trouble right in their comfort zone they have friends who can pull strings for them to make sure that they're okay so at least is that they should have been brought in for questioning already in the presence of their attorney and then if anything seems funny you address it by further arrest and charge or whatever right but i guess the investigators have to put their stuff together first because you can't charge a man for what what are you going to charge them for missing person it's not a crime for someone to be missing right i want i want to i want you to hear me say that what are they going to charge them for it's not a crime for someone to be missing so i can't charge you for missing person seeing but they can definitely charge them for murder and accessory to murder and things like that but they would have to first establish that there was a murder or there was some kind of murder committed or foul, foul play involving the disappearance of donna lee committed seeing the part where it says that people in the complex heard argument remember you know this is a jamaica you know the streets talk you know if four of your neighbors hear you and your woman over there cuss out and rotted at least one of those neighbors is gonna go tell somebody else who is gonna go tell somebody else you understand so people are saying that they heard them over there arguing it was a big old argument and shortly after is when she, he is telling police that she supposedly left but he got concerned because after she left him, she never showed up at home to our people them. <laughs> and then of course, where's the footage from that complex? And did she really leave? Or did she give him an ultimatum and say, listen, it's either me or your baby mother. I don't mind you seeing your child and all that, but that girl there and you playing her so close is not going to work out. See? 
And like I said again, we've heard the rumors. Now we're hearing that it's three police officers that are involved and we can't help but to wonder, did the baby mother being a police officer kill Donnelly? Do something to Donnelly with her friend. Someone said, and I say someone said loosely, but someone said that you can go look in the books. So Flo, she took two days off after Donnelly being missing hit front page. She, the baby mother police officer, took two days off. And in them two days, she was seen crying and looking distraught and saying stuff like, what have I done? What have I done? My reputation is ruined now. And these kind of things. So, I don't know who CR. I would like to talk to that person who saw her saying all that. But you know how social media is already. People say all kind of something. And they sensationalize stories when they actually don't know anything or have never heard anything. All in all though, this seems pretty suspicious. Three police officer, the latest rumor that I have been hearing now is, get this, is that the police officer himself, which is Noel Maitland, Noel or Catania, the baby mother, one of them or both of them have left the island of Jamaica already. Them fly out. They had fled. They are gone. They're not on the island. Somebody must have said make a run for it before we come with the arrest warrant for you. Where the girl is, I don't know. This morning I wake up to that and then Jamaica Glena printed an article that says my whole world is coming down, which is the mom of Donna Lee Donaldson. She's crushed about her daughter's disappearance. And the article says that lamenting the disappearance of her daughter, the mother of social media influencer Donna Lee Donaldson has described the heartbreak suffered by her and family members since the 24 year old vanished without a trace on Tuesday. That's Tuesday of last week in you know, a people. The emotional turmoil has helped feed the swelling ranks of protesters who have accused the police of dragging their feet because the investigation might come out that one of their own is guilty. The episode has spun an unfolding narrative of relationship woes and a love triangle involving another police officer. The police has not confirmed those reports as yet. Sophia Lug, who dubs her daughter as her best friend, our bestie, said that she has been besieged with sadness. She says, my whole world is coming down. Donna was my everything. She was my caregiver. I am so sick. She was struggling to hold back her tears as she was doing an interview with the Jamaica Gleaner. She would get up in the morning and she would give me my medications. She would make sure that I have something to eat. Basically, she would take care of our mummy then. The perceived slow pace of the police investigation spurred family and friends to organize a peaceful march and demonstration on Sunday outside of the New Kingston apartment where Donaldson was last seen. As they walked the streets, Flint faced they made clear their intentions to put pressure on law enforcers to deepen this probe. Amid the somber setting though, cheerleaders for justice delivered demands for transparency and truth. We want justice. We want justice. What's your name? Donna Lee. When we want it? Now. That's what the leader and the crowd were saying, right? And according to the mom of Donnelly Donaldson, she was, Donnelly Donaldson was awakened by a call from her police boyfriend to join him at his apartment. She was home sleeping. This is mom's account. Her daughter was home sleeping, chilling. She wake up, get a phone call that woke her up. I guess she's one of those girls where, you know, when our man calls, she's going to answer the phone. Some woman now answer them phone when you're calling her. You have to go, when you come, she's going to say, I was sleeping, what do you expect? But some women sleep lightly 
and if the phone ring you can depend on her to answer it even if she was sleeping anyhow side note that her mom's um, account is that she was awakened by a phone call from her policeman boyfriend to join him at his apartment come over the apartment after she left her Monday evening a little after 10 30 p.m. she said my love I'm coming back tomorrow morning is what she said to her mom little did she know that why little did she know that that would have been the penultimate moment she would hear her daughter's voice that would have been the last time she heard her daughter's voice for a while right and seems like the last time she will hear her daughter's voice coming from her daughter directly as in person alive if you ask me i know people are gonna say so flow words have powers and pray something listen when you can't go on with a really just um something okay this gone far already too far and no amount of prayer can turn this around that girl is dead if if she not dead then me no know but until she show up i'm gonna leave this video up on my channel just as i said it donaldson reputedly a lover of animals had reportedly called her mom sometime about 8 a.m tuesday morning reminding her mom to feed her dog mommy feed the dog for me now remember if you feed the dog for me okay my love Please feed her for me, she called her mommy, my love. You don't have to walk her, just feed her for me. When I come home, I will walk her later. Lug recounted her daughter as saying. Lug said that she was surprised to have received a call from Donaldson's partner now on Wednesday. Remember, you know, she called mommy on Tuesday, you know, and said, if you feed the dog for her, you don't have to walk the dog, but feed the dog, right? And then on wednesday she got a call from the boyfriend don't let's not forget which day him call and tell her if you come meet him at the apartment all right and she left and tell mommy i'm leaving all right and then tuesday she call and remind mommy to feed her dog for her and don't have to walk the dog because i'll walk the dog when i come back that means she was planning to be home in short order Lug said that she was surprised when she received a call from Donaldson's partner, the police guy, on Wednesday, asking whether she had seen or heard from her daughter. Further inquiries now led to a revelation that Donaldson left her boyfriend's apartment in another vehicle after they had had an argument. Hmm. In another vehicle. Rotted after they had had an argument now who is the other vehicle that she had left in and who said that she left in another vehicle may i tell him i still want to see the the, the the videotape from the compound is there any tape that shows her leaving right log described the more than two-year-old relationship between her daughter and boyfriend as turbulent adding that it was marked by accusations of infidelity that was the main focal point of their relationship. Yeah, cheat, palmy. Claims of a love child further inflamed the tensions between them. Yet, despite her pleas to end the relationship, she said that her daughter wanted to maintain the relationship. I have pneumonia and I am so sick. All I want is for my baby to come back home. Lug said as she was fighting a bout of coughing as she was speaking. Senior Superintendent Stephanie Lindsay, who heads the police information arm, sought to provide assurance that finding Donaldson's disappearance was a priority. The investigation is ongoing and it is receiving high-level support. I know up to yesterday that they went to the location where she was last seen and they did some forensics and they did some tests. So a lot of work has been done with the investigation, Lindsay told the Gleaner in an interview. Now, according to the press statement issued Sunday by the Jamaica Constabulary Force, the investigation is carried out by senior investigators from the St. Andrew Central Police Division. 
with oversight of the CIB headquarters. Now, members of the Communication, Forensic, and Cybercrime Division are also involved in this probe. So it's a widespread police works, right? All right, so, so far though, the police is saying that to this date, nothing concrete has been established. No person of interest has been declared, nothing. Now, you see that little bit where it is said that he said that they had an uh, uh, argument and she left, right? But she left in a strange car or in a car that some other car. All that when she is found, say she's found, her body is found somewhere. All that will point to no one knows who killed her. I didn't kill her as her boyfriend would say because me and she argue and she left. Me don't know if because we did argue she called some man and some man come pick her up and him end up kill her or whoever car she went in after she left here. They're the ones that are responsible for her disappearance. Not me, not us. Did someone force her to get into a car after she left there? I don't know. I have so many questions. So many questions. Did you see her get into a strange car or a different car after una arguing? Because the average man arguing with his woman and the woman decides, uh, may I go leave? Especially if it's a woman where you've been together for a couple of years now and she frequents staying at your place. When una argue and she leaves, you don't just cut your eye and turn your back and go to sleep. You kind of look outside to see who she, especially if she don't drive a car, who's coming to pick you up? How y'all gonna leave? How are you gonna get to where you're going? Where are you going from here? That kind of stuff, right? And being a police officer that are trained, that's trained to do these things, I can't see him answering that question and saying, hey, look, we argue, she get up and left, and me don't know if she turn left, right, up or down, because... You know, I mean, what's that? She get in her car, I'm here to car, boom, drive off. Makes no sense to me. So I have so many more questions concerning this particular case, but I'm, it's sad, but I'm going to say it again. I don't think this is going to turn out good. I would tell her mom right now to hope for the best and continue to hope for the best because without hope, you're hopeless. But please prepare for the worst. I have a feeling. A gut feeling and I'm gonna be looking into the rest of information to find out did any of them leave the island of Jamaica or is this just internet rumors some people are say him fly out gone already the police and others are saying that the police baby mother which also is a police fly out gone already I would also like to know who the third police officer is that is involved in this that allegedly went to confront Donnelly and they had a squabble already, which would make it three police officers involved because her boyfriend himself is Noel Maitland, also a police officer, right? Anyways, people, leave your comments in the comment section below. We are talking about this because we want to heighten the awareness of anybody out there who might have seen something, who might know something to drop some anonymous tips so this mother can... You know, may I say, find our daughter back or go through her grieving process, um, move forward with life and all these things. Wouldn't wish this on your worst enemy, man. Leave your comments in the comment section below and I'll catch you on the next video. It's SoFlow TV. Hit that subscribe button. I'm out. Peace.